I honestly, I don't like where we are right now with comedy, right? Because this whole cancel. Is it comedy or cancel culture? Well, two things. Okay. I don't like cancel culture because mm-hmm. it is, it's just un- it just swinging left to right. It's no, it's no like specific. Right. If they don't like it, oh, it's like somebody that's always in their feelings. Cancel culture is like a person who's always in their feelings. Like to, pe- to me, people on Facebook is always in their feelings. Right. No matter what you post, they be, oh, you, oh my you, God. You don't go on Twitter? Huh? You don't go on Twitter? Well, Twitter, I, I throw it over there, but I don't know if Twitter has the same feeling as Facebook. Well, Twitter's my drug. You I, go on, I go on Twitter to feel great and feel the horrible Twitter's at the same the time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, 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 well, if I want to feel great, then somebody be like, what's nah. up, Legend? You a great dude. Yo, keep doing what you're doing. If I want to feel horrible, I still go to Twitter. I'll be like, yo, what's going on, y'all? And somebody be like, we don't care. Fuck you. You're like, why? Like, <laughs> What did I do to you, yeah, sir? They just go yeah, so yeah, hard. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. But but the cancel culture for comedians to me yeah. is is like a old school traditional mm. mindset trying to keep us conservative. Like, right. don't say that you're going to hurt the little people. Don't say that you're going to hate this community. Don't say that. Comedy is about taking the truth and flipping it. Like comedians, our job is to snatch reality, snatch observations, turn it around and bring it back to you in a funny way. Right. Why are we, so now we got a tiptoe, so you right. got a guy like me, you got a guy like Dave, we can't say a joke that we thought of that's so funny that might make people think about stuff in a different way. Right. You know, you got you got uh, 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 anything is sensitive. Like I remember, I'm going to tell you the first instance I remember where shit got weird. Mm-hmm. Do you remember when Janet Jackson, the, the boom yep. bow? Yeah. yeah, I never forget that wonderful moment in history. I, it, I was happy. Mm-hmm. I never, I didn't see the malfunction. It was weird that it was outrage over it. I, I, it was outrage over uh, uh, the thing flipped now, right. right? Justin Timberlake went whoa. Okay, whoa. So real quick, I never forget. I was on tour after the Janet Jackson malfunction. I went into a radio station and I had to sign. A, 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 a release that I would not say anything that was inappropriate. Like prior to you getting on? You before, had to, before oh. and they made all the radio DJs. I never forget this shit because I was in Boston. I, I came in a radio station. They said, yo, Mr. Bellamy, everything is crazy around here right now. You know, the radio station is tight on us. We can't say, you can't use no bad language. You can't insinuate. You can't do this. You, can't, you got to sign this. You're going to be on your A game. I said, oh, snap. Because, right. you know, you could go on certain radio stations and get loose. And right. there's certain radio stations you couldn't. Right. But it was a mandate. I don't know if you remember this. I don't know yeah, what yeah. year that Super Bowl shit was. Right. It I, got I, tight. Right. If you was in radio, right. it got tight. Right. That's what it is right now. It getting tight. Which is like, it went backwards because that's how it was in the early days of entertainment. Remember, you couldn't go in the Bible Belt and if you, you got arrested, if you said some profane shit, right. yeah. lose shit. So it's like we're going backwards. Yeah, right. but it's, 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 it's it, I feel like it's cycles. Mm. You know what I mean? I definitely feel like cycles, it's, for sure. it's definitely cyclical, right? Like it goes in, oh, now we're going to be uptight, then we're going to get loose again. Because if you think earlier we talked about Eddie Murphy, right. Eddie Murphy broke out the box being raw. Right. Like, think about it. Like, and I think that's what made him Eddie Murphy because he didn't give a fuck and he like did him. Right. And he became, he went from raw to delirious to the dope. That's why he became Eddie Murphy, right. Right? right? So there's a part of America that wants the raw. Right. In the leather suit too. Right. <laughs> and the with the suit. pinky ring. Yeah, yeah. On top of the leather glove. Mm-hmm. I never figured that out. Mm-hmm. But anyway, make a long story short. Keep it moving. Right now in our culture, we have to make a decision on are we going to go for the truth of what it is and not care or be scared. I can't tell scared jokes. Right. Because now I'm tiptoeing. Right. Like to me, I, I, I love Dave Chappelle on this respect that I love Dave because he's always pushed the envelope. It's not like all of a sudden Dave is pushing the envelope. Mm. Why did the Dave Chappelle show become huge, right? Mm. So you want Dave Chappelle to stop being him and do something else? Uh He's doing what he's ordained to do. He's doing what his gift is given to him, and the people love it. Now, every joke might not hit right for you. You ain't got to like like every joke I do. Right. You ain't got to like every story I tell, but right. maybe 80% of them is cool. Maybe one you ain't fucking with. 
So does that make me a bad guy or a right. bad comedian? No. Right. But it's social media that exacerbates all of that shit. Yeah. Because that's, that's, well, that's the only thing that I'm worried about, it being just a cycle. Because in before, the cycles would happen. But now social media empowers every single voice to be uh, a keyboard warrior. And I mean, I, I am conscious about what I say. Honestly, you know, watching, you know, like even with my boy Kevin Hart, like, you know, he went through a tough time. Like, he he said a joke that was so long ago. It was like 14, 12, 13, 14 years ago, and they went back and tried to use a that's joke. That's crazy. Yeah, that's the, yeah, that's the that's the thing. But that's the thing that's horrible for comedians, right? Like, we do jokes. Like, we playing around. That would be like me being in a dice game or kicking it with my boys, and I say a joke, and somebody film me and put it up on the, on the gram, and I'm joking with Nori having right. a good time, right. but it's only for us right, right yeah. here, right. and they put it on the yep. gram, I'm hit. Yep. That's the scary shit. That's the only part that I don't like. Like, it's like, oh my God, they go back in your archives. Mm -hmm. Some shit I said when I didn't even know I was a comic, bring it up now. So, oh, so, I, so you don't like alligators. I heard right. you said it. <laughs> it could be someone you said some crazy shit about alligators. <laughs> <laughs> someone that wasn't even alive back then going right. back. Don't even understand the context of that period. That's what I'm saying. That, that's the only thing that's scary for us. Do you don't feel like that in, in music? Yeah, that's why I ain't making music no more. I feel like this right here. <laughs> oh, yeah, you a little shook right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I feel like this right here. No, what, what what happened? Happened? Yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. Right, you go to the next one. It's the next one's on you. All right, go ahead. Let's see where we at. Where are we at? Yeah, because I don't agree with this one. You don't agree with it? Uh-uh. After Jerry Seinfeld and uh, okay. Jim Carrey. Bernie Mac or Red Fox? Two legends. <sighs> that's tough. My you, did, you did your job. Yeah, yeah my we, shot is ready. Yeah, I got a drink. I can't. Okay. Right. Your shot okay. is bananas. You get because those those are both my dudes. That's 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 legendary. That's a tie. Cheers. Cheers. I'm sorry to make this game even longer, but I me, think you like drinking. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> but it made me. We think all about, drink champs, right? It made me, that's right. I but, mean, let, but let me think about it. I don't it see no think, water Red nowhere. Could Red Fox? Right, I'm black and Puerto Rican, right? But I remember the first time I ever heard like the word spick before mm. was watching Red Fox. Was it? Swear yo, to God. Yo, Red, Archie Fox, Bunker show? Red Fox was no, triple no, X, bro. No, no, Red, like, I don't remember it being worse than Archie Bunker and listen, them. There was a guy named Raul. <laughs> oh, I remember Raul. <laughs> he used to come over to Red Fox house. He's like, You're dirty Puerto Rican. And I was like, Whoa! <laughs> Eight years old at the time, seven years old. First time I ever been offended. Like, holy shit. You were offended? I, of course. Come on, bro. Only time. I got, <laughs> Why? Like, Why like, be offended? Like, because because no, but like I'm black the and Puerto Rican. Yo, and so, I grew up with black and Puerto Ricans of the worst kind. Right. So when I was when I was being black, I was too black for the Puerto Ricans. When I was being Puerto Rican, I was too Puerto Rican for the blacks. Right. And, <laughs> And I remember, but me, but no one ever really like being that out front racist to me. <laughs> and then on um, Red Fox, I'm watching Red Fox, and Red Fox said, "Hey man, this dirty Puerto Rican." I said, "Oh, shit. that's hilarious." Yeah, it's hilarious. But 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 it it, it, it hit it hit but different. It, it also hurt me, but it hurt me to the extent that I get the joke. Right. I got the joke. This is. But when did you see it? How old could you have been? We were all kids when that show was out. I don't know if it was a repeat or if it was live. Had to be. I don't yeah. remember. I don't but remember. But he was he was very. He we was probably wouldn't even understand something. But listen, Brad Fox probably couldn't exist right now either. No, nah, nah, because he was he was bro. He was brutal. He was like Don Rickles. Yeah, right. like those like Don Rickles even right now. Uh, his style, how it reverent it is and how he hit every nationality and mm -hmm. but it was to me it was brilliant right? right he made fun of everybody so you can't say oh that's why it can't be offensive right when you see it for that's what, it what is. i think right but then now the one group would go oh like you you was hurt mm -hmm. but it's a million y'all so now yeah. on social media y'all go crazy uh -huh. you took it to the chest a little bit i was like it I, tingled I, yeah. I get it i get, okay. I get what you're saying but now with social media, it could become a zillion people that feel like you did and get really, really mad over a joke. Here's my thing. It's a joke, bro. Yeah. I'm right. not a I'm not a politician. This is not something that is like um 
like a law. This is like right. a moment of laughter, right? right? And if I say a little something a little crazy mm. in this moment, it's to make you laugh. Not now, malicious. No, I'm not trying right. to hurt nobody's feelings. That's the thing. Like, I feel like comedians, we should get a pass. Right. Like, I feel like both of my grandfathers was racist, being honest. Like, of course they were. Everybody's <laughs> grandparents were racist. Everybody's grandparents was racist. Like, like and they was racist against me, which was real. Like, like, <laughs> <laughs> like, I was going to my black grandfather. He, 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 he was hot to silverware. Like what? <laughs> Puerto Rican steel. Like wait a minute, what? Then I go to my black side. Go to my black side. Uh, same thing. Uh, the Puerto Rican side. Yeah, I'm Puerto, my Puerto Rican side. They're like, hey man, Coca Cola. I was like, oh, what the fuck. Everybody's dr-. like, I was. I was. You can't clearly, win. You can't and then, win. And it's fucked up. Is because my sister, my older brother. And my little brother is all light skinned. I'm the only chuckle out there. I'm the only one. So I get it all day. I get it all. Like, and I, oh man, I just say it. So, um, but that made me who I am. It made me actually be able to have, cause I feel like we have the United Nations to cruise. Absolutely. We have Jewish people on our crew. We have Cuban people on our crew. We got Haitian people on our crew. We got Russian people on our crew. Peruvians. We got Peruvian people on our crew. Like, I fly, fly him in for Peru. This is Raul Blunts. Yeah, and he rolled them very yeah. nicely, by the way. <laughs> there should be a camera because the roll is sweet. Yeah, and he wrestled with camels on Saturday. That's and he writes a llama. <laughs> he came in on a llama. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, yeah, but it's, it's a different time. I, I feel sorry for this generation. It's I'm tough sorry. tough skin. No, but yeah, no, yo, this generation, I'll give you they, a perfect, they're growing up soft. I'm going 